Welcome to Ether Ascended. Today's Timeless Pick a Card is answering the question, what is the best course of action for you to take in any given situation that you may be dealing with? Take a deep breath and exhale. Like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. Take another deep breath and exhale timestamps will be in the description box pause the video now if you need more time to choose your pile see you at your pile welcome pile one if you chose this um, beautiful crystal and the card that says intention with the number 22 the number 22 could mean something to you um, we have a dandelion the owl uh, standing on top of an egg on top of a column there is a mountain in the back and the word is intention. Two plus two is a four. The four could be significant to you. There's a sense of structure here and everything in its place. What is the best course of action? You want to do things in a structured and organized way. It seems like you set some, some kind of intention or you blew on a dandelion or you made a wish. This could have something to do with a new project or a child conceiving something, starting something new, uh, a new chapter, a new beginning. Um, you could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart with the owl here. There's also a sense of wisdom, wise choices, wise decisions, doing things in a way that is wise. Um, there's something about also doing things the way things were done before like following a classic structure almost because tried and true and proven there's there's a sense of doing things in a way that is there needs to be some form of a structure here it needs to make sense in to you or according to a structure here i don't know what this is or this is maybe what you want to do or maybe this is the advice but let's keep going. We have selling out the number one. Okay, so definitely something about a new beginning, um, a new chapter, a new project, something new that you're starting or wanting to start. There is advice right off the bat. So this is best course of action. So advice is don't sell out, don't sell your soul, meaning um, make sure whatever you're starting is resonating with your intuition, with what you truly want and desire from a heart space. Um, pure intentions. Make sure you're not doing things just for money. Okay? Don't do things just for money because it's, it's going to wear you out. It's going to drain you and it's going to get old. Okay? Um, make sure you're doing things from your heart space, things that you truly, truly want to do. And don't not do something because of money, okay? Don't do anything just because of money and don't not do, and don't avoid doing things because of money either. Okay, money should not be a priority here. And if you're doing something from a heart space, money will come, okay? You don't need to sell out or compromise what your soul truly, truly wants. Have faith, yeah, exactly. And the number 22 confirming the same message. You're on the right path if you trust the process and if you trust that what you want and what your heart's desires are and what your soul wants is the way. Have faith that you won't have to sell out. Have faith that you, you don't have to maintain a certain structure just because of money, money will come, okay? If you have faith and if you structure yourself, if you adjust and organize accordingly, it is possible. So we have 2222. Two, two, two. You could be seeing these numbers. Uh, now that I saw these numbers, I'm going to write them down because the next pick a card I'm going to make will be based on numbers. So 2222 two, 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 and from the previous reading, we got 1919. 19. So watch out for that reading. Um... 4-4. Four, four. Angel number 44 is also showing up here. So your archangels are guiding you. They are protecting you right now. Your path is being divinely guided, but there are things that you're not seeing, and there may be a temptation for you to sell out, for to do something for money, 
or for status or and that will deter you from your true path and your true path will lead you to money in any way okay so you've set the intention let it go surrender have faith and trust the process um yeah okay best course of action self-sabotage okay just pay attention to self-sabotaging thoughts okay so it's like when you set your intentions when you manifest something make sure you're not sabotaging your manifestation with a negative thought preceding it the number two preceding it following it sorry the number two could be relevant to you one two take one step at a time baby steps um it takes daily steps for you to get somewhere and um self-sabotaging thoughts or actions behaviors will um, stunt block or delay your progress um, again selling out will be self-sabotage doing things just for money will be self-sabotage it will delay things because when you're doing things just for money you're not enjoying yourself and when you're not enjoying yourself you're not opening that energy of joy which is the energy of abundance, which is high vibrational, which is what brings in more money, right? So sometimes we think by accepting a certain amount, even though we're going to do something we don't really enjoy, we feel that is the path to abundance when in all truth, yes, it may be at the beginning, but then uh, it fades or it becomes, um, it, it can really take a toll on one's health or even a toll on one's mental health and then that would be lower vibrational. So be very careful with the temptation around money and money alone and money itself because that could sabotage your true path, the intentions you truly want to set for yourself and following that. And when you're manifesting something good and all of a sudden you catch yourself thinking something negative about that, immediately turn it to the positive. So if there's a negative affirmation going around in your brain like, oh, you know, you manifest something like you want, I want this, and then you go, immediately go oh but what if I can't or what if that's too good to be true or maybe that is too good to be true I'm, I'm just delusional allow yourself to be de delusional it's okay but really truly be delusional don't just think that you're being delusional because that's self-sabotage and if you do catch yourself with one of those thoughts change it back to the thing that you want change it back to the thing that you want and do this as many times as you need to until it becomes programmed into your mind okay Education, yeah, educate yourself on how to stop self-sabotage. Educate yourself on how to manifest the outcome that you want. Um, also, you may be reading too many things and that may be sabotaging your path. You need to stick to one thing that resonates. You may not be reading up enough or getting enough information on what you need. So uh, the best course of action is to educate yourself. Read something, go go get a, a course, go what you know... Uh, go to a, a seminar, webinar, uh, workshop, whatever it is, go to university, whatever it is you need to do that you feel resonates with your situation, get more education, get more information, research, read. Um, yeah, you, there's more you need to know. There is more you need to know on a subject. So get the information you need. Get more information. The number 35 could be relevant and the number eight. Information is going to lead you to stability and prosperity to stable prosperity coming in okay there's something about something you open up in a book that's going to give you like um it's going to illuminate you it's going to give you like a much needed light and it's going to illuminate something make something very clear to you it's going you're going to have like an epiphany after you read this or it's like this piece of information that you find in a book is going to be like gold it could be an ebook okay balancing act make sure you're all balanced your life is balanced meaning you're taking care of your health you're taking care you know of your body you're getting enough sleep you are your relationships are balanced your um so check check your life and see whatever is out of balance that you're doing too much of or not enough of okay Whatever you're doing too much of, you need to tone it down. Whatever you're doing, not doing enough of, you need to do more. And you need to balance things out. The number 11 could be relevant to you. The number 2. If you're not sleeping enough, you need to sleep more. If you're not drinking enough water, you need to drink more water. If you're drinking too much water, maybe you need to drink less. And um, so, so on and so forth. 
spending too much time with people and not enough time alone. You know where I'm going with this. Not reading enough versus reading too much. And again, a balance. You could have Libra in your chart somewhere. Okay, so, okay. Read up on legalities. Read up on the laws around um, the thing that you want to take action on. Or use the law, okay? Use the law. Uh, read the fine print of a document before signing it. The number 38 could be relevant to you. And again, now we have the number 11. So we have 11, 11, and 22, 22. Uh, important numbers here, so you may be seeing these numbers a lot. Um, bring your, your life into balance, make sure everything is fair. And again, we have that owl on top of that lady's head, so owls may be synchronicity for you and signs. Uh, something about a fortune cookie that you saw recently or you opened recently had something written there. What does this one have written on it? I can't even read it. I'm trying to read it. It's so small. I normally am able. It says nope. Okay, it says nope. I don't know how I was able to. Yeah, I can't even zoom it in, but it says nope. I don't know what that means. Nope, don't sell out. Yes. Whatever you do, make sure it's fair, especially fair on your soul. Be fair on yourself because you matter. But there's something about walking a fine line here. There's, uh, you have to use a lot of tact in the situation. You have to tread carefully here. And, you know, this could be a slow moving energy, but it, it's better that it's slow, so it's fair, okay? There will be a serendipitous moment here, a, a moment of luck. And until then, you just have to do this balancing act. There will be a serendipitous moment, a moment where everything will change. Um, and it will happen very quickly and unexpectedly, but you will have to be relaxed enough to identify the opportunity. The number 18 could be relevant and the number 9. This um, serendipitous situation, circumstance, or whatever it is, is going to allow you to close a cycle. A cycle of maybe walking on eggshells or a cycle of... If you're patient enough, this is what I heard, if you're patient enough and wait it out a little bit longer, luck is going to come your way and you're not going to have to sell out. So don't sell out, okay? For some reason, I saw plastic surgery or fillers or whatever. You don't have to do that. There's going to be a new solution coming up and you don't have to do that. There's also something about... Um, not accepting one job because there's something better coming your way, okay? And also, balance your, your body out and your, your rest and your intake of what it is that you're eating, what you're, if you're breathing enough, if you're spending time with good people, fostering good relationships, are you detoxing, are you decluttering, are you moving away from energies that make you feel drained or sick or sad? Once you balance everything out, you're going to see that you, there, you don't have to go to extreme measures of people pleasing or doing something just for the money or because there's going to be the right situation, the right person, the right thing that's going to come your way. You just have to keep balancing your life up until then. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups. So there's some good news coming in or an offer here. It could be job, could be love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, uh, someone who will take action toward you to either bring you good news or take things to the next level. I'm seeing this mostly as romantic now. Someone is taking action toward you and this could be a serendipitous meeting that you're having with this person. Um, expression of love or taking things to the next level when maybe you weren't expecting it. But it's like you need to take care of the legal side of things before or someone needs to take care of some legal things and someone needs to have faith in the process and trust that what is best for you will come your way because good things are coming your way. Uh, meanwhile, just take care of yourself, balance your life out and make sure you set good intentions, that you have 
uh, positive affirmations going floating around your brain and coming out of your mouth because our words are spells. And meanwhile, just spend some time getting extra education and getting ready for the opportunity that's to come because luck is a combination of preparation and opportunity. But you also need to be able to identify the opportunity. Now, this could be an opportunity to start a new project or to start a new relationship or to take the relationship to the new phase or to start you know, um, a family even. We have the Eight of Wands. So again, we see someone reading and, and looking up and seeing the light connected to what is in these scriptures, okay? Um, in Eight of Wands, I see a lot of communication back and forth, a lot of travel back and forth as well between you and someone is what I'm seeing. So have faith again, have faith. Um, there will be a chance, there will be communication, there will be action taken. Just have faith. I'm seeing eight days to eight weeks. Eight days to eight weeks. Meanwhile, keep your thoughts positive. Whatever this is, whether this is a job offer or a relationship thing, okay? There's some good news coming your way. Um, two of Wands. Meanwhile, do some planning. Look into the future. It's a time to plan, not a time to necessarily take action, okay? Okay. Right now is a time to plan and to think about what it is that is important to you, what it is that you want to manifest. Because once you do start and when things start setting things in motion, it's going to be very, very fast. Okay, King of Swords. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Someone could have Gemini, Libra or Aquarius in their chart. Could be you, could be someone you're dealing with. Because I'm seeing two people now, um, an age gap here. Now, this could be a boss and employee. This could be a relationship. This could be, again, you looking at your life and thinking about what you need to cut out of your life to be more balanced. If this is a person, a situation, a circumstance, a thing, a job, you know, whatever it is, um, people-pleasing tendencies, thoughts, behaviors that you need to cut out of your life. I'm also seeing someone you may know is currently dealing with a process of terminating a contract, okay? Or this could be you. You're being advised to terminate a contract that is making you feel like your soul is not meant to be involved in this contract. There's a golden opportunity coming your way, and I feel this is connected to the serendipity. Important doors will be opening for you soon for you to walk through them, but it's like you need to read the fine print. If there's a contract, you need to read it very well. There is an opportunity that is fair for you that is going to bring in more balance for your life. And so the advice is for you to be able to identify the opportunity. You need to be relaxed and you need to move away and cut out any energies that are not connected to what your soul truly is yearning for and really truly wants for you because that is how you attract in abundance. Okay, so golf, dolphins could be significant to you. The sea will be very healing. Um, okay, yeah. So there's advice for you to cut out toxicity from your life uh, or to stop living according to what others expect of you and start living according to your soul because you need to create a balance. And this may involve some delegating. Maybe you're doing everything on your own or people are expecting too much of you. And again, cut out all these burdens by delegating. Like if you're doing too much, you may want to start giving others, um, you know, these tasks that they can do to help you. It's like you need to lighten your load because your load could be a little bit heavy. And because it's so heavy, you are unable to see the opportunities around you. But as soon as you start delegating and trusting that others are capable of doing the job, maybe not the same way you are, maybe not as well as you are, but they're still capable. So you may want to consider that and start delegating to lighten your load so that you can free your energy because that is part of a detoxing process of taking on too much so that you can free your energy for good things coming your way, opportunities, love, um, good news coming your way. So that is the best course of action for you in this situation. Take it as it resonates to your situation. And if this resonated, let me know how in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. 
Uh, extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. Um, like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it later and share this video with someone you feel may need this message. If you're interested in knowing about my energy healing sessions, life purpose report based on your natal astrological tropical chart, you can find my email in the description box as well as if you want to know about all my other services. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, pal, Two. So we're going to see what, what is the best course of action for your situation, your circumstance, whatever's going on for you. He chose this beautiful citrine and strength this is your reading the number 44 could be significant as well as the number eight so there's st something about a balancing act that takes a lot of strength a lot of holding back a very perfect balance of the elementals of keeping everything in check in your life making sure you don't drop the ball maybe you're trying to multitask or tackle a lot of things while you're not while well, you're trying not to drop the ball because it's something big that you have built or you want to build and now you don't want to have all that work go to waste but it it feels like at times anything could um, break your balance and so you are someone who is very strong keep being diligent with the number four being there twice your archangels are around you or supporting you you may have felt connected to pile number one, so there could be a message there for you as well. You are being divinely guided and protected at this time. You are strong enough. You have the strength that it takes. Just keep being methodical, organized, structured, and diligent. Because where you're headed is towards stability. Long-lasting prosperity, like stable a stable flow of prosperity in your life. That's where you're headed. Okay. Best course of action. There could be something here that is pertaining to a soulmate, involving a soulmate situation that could be on your mind. The number 14 could be relevant. The number five. Five means there will be change. There will be change in the situation. Change pertaining regarding a soulmate. Okay, you could be in different places in the world. Some of you could be missing a soulmate. Maybe you lost someone who was a soulmate and they're on the other side now and they're, and they're your spirit guide at the moment. You could be mourning someone who you consider to be a soulmate and you've been very strong pulling through this grieving <clears throat> maybe you're grieving the fact that you are at a distance with someone and you're not seeing any short-term solution for this physical distance but things are changing things are changing the number 25 could be relevant and the number seven we have alchemy so you are transmuting this energy right now you are going through a process of transmuting negative into positive energy you are a lot more powerful in manipulating your own energy than you think you have a lot more power over your circumstances than you're aware of actually one of your biggest strengths is your ability to be an alchemist to transmute energy <clears throat> to harness energy and use it as as best for you so you have a lot more power over what you create in your life than you think you do and you need to become aware of that and the best course of action is to start practicing transmuting negative into positive energy substituting negative affirmations for positive affirmations 
and start changing little things so you can become more comfortable and confident about the power you actually have to alchemize. It's like a best course of action is choose a path that is spiritual and that allows you to learn about manifesting and co-creating and creating the life that you want to create. Because right now, it seems like you are still dwelling in a little bit of a victim consciousness, feeling like you're powerless or you are a victim to the flow that is to um, a system that is in place when actually you have a lot more power over this. You're not a victim of circumstances or other people's energy or uh, energies. No. Um, Yes, you are strong. When you identify as a victim, you can get through anything, but you are in survival mode. And what this is saying is that you need to get out of survival mode and into alchemist mode of transmuting the energy and empowering yourself, reclaiming your power and understanding that you have a lot more power over your life than you think you do. Maybe up until now you've been feeling like a victim, but it's time to let go of the victim consciousness and stop identifying as a victim yes whatever happens or happened to you is very real but there is a way of transmuting this and moving away from it and at least not identifying in that way as such or now that you have identified yes it's important to recognize where you've been where you're at but it is only important and then to transcend it it's it's um it can be useful but if you stay there, it will bring you down and, and have you spiral down. What you want to do is turn that into a spring to spring out of it. Stop victim consciousness self-talk and start empowered self-talk. See how different these two characters are? Look how empowered she looks. And look how lost she looks. Different attitudes. Change your body posture, change your facial expression. Um, fake it till you make it. Be delusional about how you feel or your own self. It, one thing is to say, okay, this is my reality. This is the, the reality, right? This is my, these are my circumstances. But what if circumstances don't matter and you are delusional about what surrounds you and you're, you have the power to <clears throat> visualize a different present moment visualize it speak it out loud until you feel like you have this posture and you have the power in your hands both hands in the tip of your fingers actually look at that look how she's holding that you have the power at the tip of your fingers because you're meant to become a master manifester when it comes to harnessing energy also be gentle on yourself. Don't pressure yourself. Put a lot of pressure on yourself. You need to, to take things slower. You need to allow yourself to rest and to do things at your pace. You put a lot of pressure on yourself. You want instant results. And when you don't get those results, you could have uh, low tolerance to frustration. You need to work on being patient with yourself because whenever something doesn't happen the way you want to, you feel like you're a victim immediately because you don't give yourself enough time and some things just take more time. Yeah, and it's becoming aware of the fact that some things do take time and there's divine timing at play and some things just need more time to develop or to happen. Also become aware of how powerful you are. Make yourself aware of, of this power that you have. The number three could be important here. Networking is important. You need to network more. You need to put yourself out there. You need to accept social invitations. Maybe create a social event where you can network. Um, reconnect with people. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your relatives. Get on the phone. Ask people how they're doing. Um, collaboration. Think in terms of collaboration as well. You don't have to do this alone, nor are you meant to. You're meant to co-create with other people and with spirit. You're not meant to do any of this alone. Okay? Not for you. 
It's also be very, um, be very, what's the word for it? <clears throat> Honest with yourself about what is acceptable to you. What do you want in your life? What kind of person, what kind of experience? What is acceptable in terms of how people treat you? What do you how do you want to be treated? Are you being treated that way? If not, are you doing something about it? Are you letting people know you don't want to be treated that way? Are you putting yourself in a position to be treated a certain way? What do you need to let go of? What do you need to detox? What do you need to declutter from your life? Mentally, physically, spiritually, in terms of relationships, in terms of jobs, places, emotionally. All that glitters is not gold, okay? Don't focus just on the money. The number 16 could be relevant as well as the number seven and the number six and the number three. Seven is coming up twice, angel number 77. Let go of the chess game. Let go of too much strategy. Let go and let flow. Let go and flow. Um, all that glitters. Take your mask off. Are you doing something just for the money? Are you doing something just for acceptance? Because even if you glitter and glow, or you think you're doing something that will make you glitter and glow, if it is not according to your soul, it is not for you, and hence it will not bring you the abundance that you think it will. And it'll drive you more into this victim consciousness. It's not going to be as satisfying as you think it will. It's going to get lonely at the top. I just heard that. So whatever you're doing, be gentle on yourself. Make sure it is aligned with who you are and make sure it is coming from a place of high vibration rather than fear. Because fear is connected to feeling like you need to act a certain way out of fear of being judged or punished or otherwise, right? Or not fitting in or whatever your fear is. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. But I mean, focus on your health. Definitely focus on your health. Focus on your stability. Um, but do it for the reason of stability and not other reasons such as proving something to someone or going after something just for the money, just because you think you need that money so much. No, this is more about being grounded and centered within yourself, being in contact with nature, taking care of your health, and having enough to live a stable life. Work on your foundation. Work on methods that, are, uh, that will help you live a balanced life. Work on clearing out any clutter. Now, this could be things you don't need that are stunting the energy in your house. Um, or people who are weighing on you or tasks that you maybe don't need to do. <clears throat> there are different ways of doing things that are more effective. So focus on new methods, new rituals, healthier rituals, things like that. Connecting with nature, uh, allocating a special time every day to spend time in nature, walk around barefoot, you know, I don't know, plant a tree or pick up some oranges or I don't know, start farming, whatever it is, or walk around barefoot in the sand, or wet your feet in the ocean, something like this. Exercise to ground your energy as well and to help your bodily functions. There is strength in taking care of your health right now. Everything your body needs, you need to keep that in check right now. So if, let's say, going after the bag and money is taking precedence over your health, then you are creating an imbalance even in the material world because it won't matter how much money you have if you don't have your health. Because health is wealth. And that's, I think, a big message here right now. New beginning, Ace of Wands. Make sure you're doing something that you're passionate about. Do something new. Try something you've never done before. Have some fun let go, um, let loose a little bit. Life is becoming a little bit too serious. You're too tied to something that has happened or keeps recurring in your life that keeps you in victim consciousness. You need to get out of that bubble 
and stepping to another bubble that is more light, more positive, more fun. Try something new that you've never done before that you've always wanted to try and you think would be a lot of fun. That is the best course of action right now. Something maybe you wouldn't even admit to yourself or others or maybe it was very hidden in your subconscious that you wanted to do. Do something that has been at the back of your mind for the longest time and celebrate, spend time with good people. Again, with this Three of Cups, this to me is reiterating that energy of networking and spending time with people, reconnecting to people, collaborating, having fun, going to a party, inviting people over for a meal. The arts, yeah, maybe learn a new musical instrument if you've always wanted to do that or express yourself through some kind of creative arts. It's going to unblock your ability to come up with solutions. It's gonna be fun and it's going to help raise your vibration. It's gonna be really good for your health as well. Either go, go to a concert, go dance to some music, go listen some, to some really uplifting music or learn a new musical instrument or express yourself through a new creative activity. Um, but there's something about sharing food with friends and reconnecting with friends and spending some real time with friends that you need to, to do right now. Okay, you need to move your energy a little bit because your energy could be very connected to the home and very stagnant. And the more you, you stay at home, the more you connect to this victim consciousness, the more you close yourself up and the more you <clears throat> turn inward and go hermit the more you identify with the victim mentality and what you need to do is get out of the house go and socialize with people like like really not on social media but really really you know look at people's faces um face to face you know and touch people laugh with people really feel the energy again because your energy seems to be very stagnant <clears throat> and so and once you do this even your environment at home is going to improve and there will be either a move or a healthy change in your environment maybe you need to move from where you are or some people need to move from where you are but there needs to be some kind of a change when it comes to your home environment either you need to leave the home more or you need to move out or some people need to move out that could be the the cause the the um that could be the matter here. So Pile 2, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Seeing the number 1717 17 on the clock, that may mean something. I will make a new video on the numbers that you're seeing. So this one came up. I'm going to write it down to put it in a number sequence. 1717 17 and 717. I also... That one also came up now, so watch out for those ones because there could be messages in those pick of cards for you as well. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Save this video if you want to watch it later. Share this video with someone you feel may need this message. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. And if you're interested in knowing more about my services, such as energy healing sessions one-on-one -on -one, as well as life purpose reports based on your tropical astrological chart you can find my email in the description box it was a pleasure to read for you guys today bless you all and see you sometime soon bye till next time welcome pile three if you chose this beautiful fluorite tower point this is your reading and this wide open oracle card with the number 42 on it the number 42 could be relevant to you as well as the number six six is venusian energy it's about abundance and love okay Abundance and love. Be wide open to abundance and love. Open your heart. Open your heart chakra. I'm, I'm seeing a green dress, so that is pointing to healing and loving energy and heart chakra energy. Your heart chakra, open it wide open. Be vulnerable, but also be mindful of protecting your energy or understanding that the fact that you're giving doesn't mean you're also going to receive from the same source, okay? I just heard that, so keep that in mind. Uh, go for a hike. Uh, also, if you want to connect to your higher self in the higher realms, you may want to go up a mountain and connect and meditate on a mountaintop or something like that. Or this is your cue to go and explore and do 
that hiking session that you wanted to do or something like that. And there's a reason why you're being called to do that, to be at the top of a mountain. It's because it's going to help you reconnect to your higher self and it's going to help you transform. Okay, wide open. And we have sexuality here and the number four could be relevant here. So there's something about exploring your sexuality, becoming comfortable with it. Um, yeah. And if you're feeling this way where you need to explore, it is an important part of who we are. Our sexuality does open us up to love and emotions and all these other different things. So we cannot just um, talk about what's going on in our career, our finances, our, our brain and our heart without addressing this very big part of ourselves, which is our sexuality. So if you have any hangups or holdups about this, um, just be more free with this because it will also help unblock and unlock other energy centers that you have going on. So you could be experiencing a block where you're being a little bit too rigid with your own sexuality. So you may want to um, do some energy healing or uh, address this part of yourself and don't just let it lie dormant. Accept it and allow it. You allow it to be expressed, let's put it that way. In whatever shape or form because we have hole in the soul so there could, it could be that you have some kind of trauma connected to your sexuality if you do I'm very sorry that you've been through that and um, but it's time to heal okay um, it's time to heal and it's time to also <sighs> what is it I want to say about this just because it happened to you, it doesn't make you who you are, if that makes sense, okay? It's like you're identifying with this part of yourself and there could be some shame or some, even you could even feel guilty about it. But you need to let go of the shame and the guilt because it is not your fault whatever happened, okay? It is, um, and also don't feel guilty if you feel like you need to express yourself more sexually. The number 36 and the number 9 could be relevant to you. There is a sense that someone took advantage of your vulnerability and took something they shouldn't have taken. But on some level or another, that, all, that happens to every single one of us because it's... On this earth, you know, we come in pure or some people not so pure and then we come into contact with certain realities, certain people, certain experiences and it's almost inevitable that something will be taken from us at some point because that is the kind of energy that does exist. But for you to feel shame or to stay connected to that energy is a very, is a very different thing. So you are being encouraged and supported in turning your back to this experience almost um, not in a way that it didn't exist but just allowing yourself to see other things rather than stay in this energy there's a lot more life out there than um, staying in this energy so this is why because she's in the middle of the forest and she can't really see anything else but when she gets out of this forest she goes through this portal and she allows herself to explore differently or different places or different experiences, then, you know, the focus isn't so much on this one thing that may have been a big thing, but that there is more to life. That I think that is what the message is, that there is more to life and you have more experiences to live and you're supposed to follow that. Also take off your masks. Be honest about what, what has happened to you uh, open up with certain people you feel comfortable with. There will be people you feel comfortable with. Also, you don't have to pretend that nothing happened. You don't have to pretend to be someone you're not. Again, if you are, if you have the sexual energy, you have to own it unapologetically, okay? Um, you don't have to hide it. Um, there may have been a situation in your life or with someone who made you believe that it was evil having it all this sexual energy but some people just have it and the more comfortable you are with it the the pure the the purer it becomes 
So just allow that energy to flow through you, express yourself as you are, and don't feel any guilt or shame connected to that. It's okay to be who you are. You know, we're not going to please everyone, but what happens when you do take off your mask and we, when you are completely honest with yourself and others is that the quicker you do this, the quicker you find your soul tribe. And then you're going to see, oh, wait a second, there's a lot more of us. So who was I trying to please, right? It's a very limited stance on, on the, the whole matter. And it kept you stuck in the mud. Of course it did. Because you thought there was only one way of being, one way of living, one way of doing things. And that is not the truth. The number 24 could be relevant to you. Now I have 42, 24. So this is mirrored numbers. Um, it's a significant angel number. Go look it up, 42, 24. And I'm going to write that one down for the next number. Pick a card. So if you want to write that down for the next number, pick a card, 4224, that I will be doing. You can then choose this pile and watch that video. Um, but yeah, take off your mask to avoid staying stuck in the mud. The number 24 could be relevant, which is again a 6. Um, Unexpected visitors. The number 41 could be relevant to you as well as the number 5. Change. Okay, unexpected visitors and change. Let me see what I'm feeling with this one. As in best course of action. What is the best course of action? Okay, visit someone unexpectedly. Okay, visit someone unexpectedly. Surprise someone. Surprise someone. Okay. Create change. Do things differently. If you're the one who normally waits, go and surprise someone. Do something unexpected. Unexpected visit. And we have peace. Make sure your main focus right now is on finding your own peace within whatever makes you feel peaceful in being yourself. Being yourself is going to bring you a lot of peace. Okay, I'm hearing something very random, but hit the gym, okay? You have some goals, and you're going to reach those goals, but you need to go to the gym. The number 23 could be relevant. Where did we have... Okay, so that came up in pile number 2. So you may have a message in pile number 2. But 23 is a 5. 41 is a 5. 55 is change. Change the way... Yeah, do something surprising. Do something you've never done before, like... Go and visit someone unexpectedly. Knock on someone's door instead of calling or something like that. I know it sounds weird, but people used to do this all the time. Make peace with someone. Make peace with someone as well. Change things with someone by making peace with this person. Okay, if someone doesn't answer the phone and you want to make peace with someone, go knock on their door and make peace with them. That's what I heard here. That's going to create change. Go to see. Do something, do things the way you've never done them before. You know how repeating the same thing and expecting different results is insanity? So open up to a new way of doing things. Go do things that you've never done before. It's going to aid you in your spiritual growth. Knight of Swords, take action. If you've been procrastinating or if you've been um, complacent or not doing anything about the situation, it's time to do something about the situation. If it's time to get on a plane, get on a plane. If it's time to get on a boat, get on a boat. If it's a time to move overseas, to travel overseas, to visit someone unexpectedly, open up to that possibility. Because there's a new beginning here for you, Ace of Pentacles. There is a new, long-lasting, stable, solid, prosperous beginning for you wanting to get started here. But while you're stuck in the mud, it's like your feet so planted in the ground that you don't make adjustments. And when you don't allow change, positive change to happen, and when, you know, this is how life is going to be, this is how it's always been, that's a recipe for, for failure, especially if you want to create more in your life, more stability, more prosperity. You, you have to move. There's a sense of a need. I'm seeing a lot of movement needed here movement doing things unexpectedly doing things differently being surprising surprise yourself surprise others take off your masks what would you do if you could fully be yourself what is inside you and is that reflecting on the outside is it that bad what's inside you or is it actually something that is not so bad but it just challenges the status quo 
And we have seven of pentacles, yeah, slow moving, very ca cautious and very patient energy going on here. That is commendable, but it seems like right now it's doing you more harm than it is doing good. Is staying stuck, yes, there's a lot of staying stuck energy here, four of pentacles, holding on to very little, but thinking that it's all you're ever gonna get. But this is a time, 11.22 on the clock. Sorry, I need to write down all these numbers because I'm going to be making videos about this. But you need to focus on being more independent. It seems like you are very dependent on circumstances or a certain foundation that you've created. But right now, independence from a foundation is your foundation for strength and success. Staying stuck in this uh, thing that you're holding on to too tightly uh, it is keeping you, it, 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 there's a hole in your soul. There's something that you're not feeding in your soul, that you're not allowing your soul to experience in this lifetime. And so what they're saying here is allow your soul to have this experience. Otherwise, you're always going to feel like something's missing, like your soul is not fulfilled. You're, you're not fulfilled. And so this takes some level of being independent from whatever this thing is, that you've been holding on to for such a long time so that you can go and create a different foundation that will be stronger and more successful. Look at this. And if you do that, look at this Lakshmi and bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. But it's like you need to take the, 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 the leap of faith and being more independent from whatever this is that you've been holding on because there is a hole in your soul and the future is a lot brighter than you think if you just allow yourself to be more independent, to be who you truly are to your core, fully. In your bright future, you could be a Lakshmi in Vedic astrology or you could come into contact or into a connection with a Lakshmi. But first you need to become independent from whatever this is that you think is the only thing you have in your life and the only thing you're able to create. Which again, if you have this hole in your soul, it's never going to go beyond the four and the seven of pentacles where you could get all the way to the ten of pentacles. You have the eight, the nine, and the ten of pentacles. But you have to risk being independent on your own, building your own stable, solid foundation, standing on your own two feet, both physically, emotionally, and financially, okay? I don't know what this means for you, to you. It doesn't mean you have to completely leave a situation. It could just be a state of mind or energetic, whatever it is. Taking the risk will pay off. Your worry is keeping you stuck and it's giving you a hole in the soul. And you're only ever going to get out of the state of feeling like something is missing if you do something unexpected if you surprise yourself if you surprise someone if you travel if you become independent from whatever this is that you're holding on to because the more you hold on to it the more it burns anyway it's not really and you know what the situation is I'm not going to tell you what it is because you know what it is and each one of you is different and your intuition is going to tell you what it is it's not going to be me obviously it could be anything right? Anything. So you really um, take this best course of action as it resonates with you. That was the reading for you. That was your message. Um, if this resonated, let me know how in the comment section. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save the video if you want to watch it later. Share this video with someone you feel may need this message. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. Also, if you want to be, uh, have information about my services, energy healing session, uh, life purpose reports based on your natal tropical astrological chart, you can find my email in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all and see you sometime soon. Bye till next time.